प्रतिष्ठा श्री रामदास बाबा जी महाराज का रामदास बाबा जी महाराज रामदास बाबा जी महाराज हैड दिस स्ट्रॉन्ग अटैचमेंट विथ नीताई चांद And that's why everyone yeah, is yeah, crazy for Nita. Yeah. This Ramdas Bawaji Maharaj was the disciple of Radha Raman Charandas Bawaji Maharaj. They are all from the Tamil tradition. By his bhajan, he got such power. He used to do Harinam under one tree in Navadip. There was after his date. After his date. After he passed away. Yes. This tree also died. After some days. And when the skins of the trees is fell down. Then all the others, they were surprised to see there was written Hari Nam Mahamantra. Ah, on the leaves. Or no, no. On the branches. No. On the tree trunk. Yes. Tree trunk. On the tree trunk. And it was under the skin. When the skins fell down, then the bark of the tree came off. Under this, self manifest. By his bhajan, it was happened. By his bhajan. And he had this type of prema in his heart that everyone, even all the animals, can realize what he is saying. Sometimes he has not to say. Every day in his life, he used to do Harinam Shankirtan alone at the early morning. He will do Parikrama there at the early morning. He will go everywhere. And when you will see, some animals is there, like you know in Navadhi, also you see, that dogs, cows, bulls, they are roaming on the street. When you will see that there are some animals like this, you will do kirtan for them also. Mm -hmm. And they will respond. By their voice. And in that way, one day, Ramdas Babaji Maharaj, at the daytime, not early morning, at the daytime, maybe at the noon time, he was going somewhere with some of his disciples. And then he saw that some dogs. They are fighting to get some food that somebody is uh, taking out some prasad and it was on the street and they are fighting to eat this prasad. And one man, he was biting them, he was beating them, beating them. To say this, he felt really very pain. Here in Gaura Dhamma one has to fight only to get some prasad. No, 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 that's not possible. For man, 
So many people, so many devotees are here that they can do big mahotsa. But I do mahotsa for the animals, for the storms. And he said this to his disciple. You know, I want to invite all the dogs and I want to offer them prasad. But the disciples, they were surprised to listen to this. They ask, what are you saying? How one can invite the dogs? If they realize that you are inviting them, they are street dogs. They are not under control of anyone. That you will say, this man, that uh, take your dogs to my temple, I'll offer them prasad. But these are street dogs, they are not under control. But Bhavali Maharaj, he said, no. If you invite them from your heart, then they can realize. Then they can realize. And they will come. But the disciple, they said, Baba, it is uh, not by us. We cannot do this. And he said, you must invite them very politely before say some things, you have to do pranam, then you have to say that you are inviting them to our temple. But the disciples said, no, Baba, we cannot do this. We have not this ability to Okay, then I'll go. And he fixed one date to, de to do this big mahasana, to little one. And he started to invite all the dogs. She will go to the road, all the streets in Navadip. Wherever you see the dogs, and she will invite them, please come. In that room, with pranam, please come. I am inviting you because I want to offer prasad on that day. But all the other general people, they were wanting to see this. Hey, this man, he becomes crazy now. Before everyone knows him as a mad, now we can see what he is doing. He is inviting dogs. <laughs> and it was not just next day or the same day he was inviting. It was long before, maybe one or two weeks before. And in that way, maybe thousands of dogs came And on that day, they arranged a big prasad. But his disciples, they are really in a suspicious mood, is they will come or not? Yes, very doubtful. <laughs> there was a strong doubt in their mind that Baba invited all these dogs, street dogs, if they'll come or not. But Ramdas Bhavaji Maharaj, he was fixed on his mind. They'll come. And they arrange. Before they'll offer this boga to Radha Raman, you know that is Radha Raman. His deity is Radha Raman. They arrange all the seats. You see in Navadip how they will give prasad to the invited people. They will give the seats, lines, 
and the the lotus this uh, banyan leaves banana leaves not banyan leaves banana leaves and cup uh, cup for water and they will serve one after one Lisa will say, Baba will mix all this prasada. And when they will come, we will give one place. They will take from there. No. <laughs> if we will invite someone, can you offer prasad? They mean that way. But Baba, they are all the dogs. They are not men. They cannot treat him that way. They cannot sit in this way. In the lines. Because, because they are not civilized. Baba said, you know, they are more civilized than all of you. <laughs> and they will prove this. When the offer will be finished, then you can see what will happen. Just do it, what I am saying. And they arrange this all. They are giving the seeds, asanas, and these leaves, banana leaves, and pot of water, everything. They arrange it and put it away. Then they offer this prasad to Radharam. And after this bhoga arati was finished, all the people. They were surprised to see that all the dogs is coming. In a good way. They are not barking, they are not jumping, they are not running. In this side, this side. In a very nice way they are coming. And then Ramdas Babaji Maharaj, he said, please take your asana. When he said that, just take your asana, then all of them, they just sit on the line. Line after line. They are not fighting to each other. They are not giving problems to others. They just sit on, the, on, the, on their own asana. Then Ramdas Bahaji Maharaj, he said, <laughs> To his disciple now, start Parivekshana. Start serving the yes. Start serving the prasad. And one after one, in the same way how you are serving all the devotees. First rice, dal, sabji, this all one after one. One after one. At the end, the Kira Pyosha and all the dogs, they ate all the prasad. All the prasad they took, then the water they took from the pots, and they are not spreading everywhere like all other dogs. And then, after they took prasad, they went in the same way, not fighting, not. <coughs> and when, during their taking prasad, Ramdas Bhavaji Maharaj, he offered his pranam to all of them. Every individual. And he prayed, please take prasad. If you want more, then you please tell me. <laughs> and they took all prasada and all people, all the devotees, they came to see this dog festival, dog mahatsap. Then you can see this place. And rather on the temple, still this place is there where he has this dog mahatsap. Ramdas Babaji Maharaj, she will get all the good knowledge from everywhere. <laughs> the realization. He tried to find, always, he's trying to find something 
really different from where. And he will never see any bad things. When he was doing this parikrama at the early morning, even he will go to the colony of these prostitutes, where all the general other gentlemen, so-called gentlemen, they are not going, but Kundas Bhaji Maharaj, he used to go every day to this colony also, only to give them this Harinam, they will listen to Harinam, then they will get some benefits from this. One day, he just passed by this colony, and one prostitute, she was sleeping, one prostitute, she was sleeping on, his, on her veranda, you know, there was two stories building, and her leg was out from this fence. And it was nicely decorated, this fence. And really, had this feet, decorated feet, feet was so beautiful. Ramdas Bhavani Maharaj was passing by this house. Suddenly, he saw this feet. And he caught this realization, oh, if one prostitute had this nice feet, how beautiful my Radharani's feet was. <laughs> Only to get this, got this realization, he was senseless there. Suddenly he got this attachment for Radharani. In this way, Ramdas, Ramdas Bhavaj Maharaj, he preached about Harinam. And he mainly, he preached about Nitai Chant. The priest takes center on him, others will never take anything in your life. If you have prema, if you have a respect for Nitai Chat, then you will do everything for you. That's why he was known as Nitai Pagal Ramdas. One of his god brothers, Lalita Shakhi, he was also same Shri Dhamma Do you know Paragati anything about Lalita Shakhi? No. No. Both of them, they are from Navadip. At the same time, just two days before, I saw one side. There are very bad some comments about Lalita Shakti. And it was very painful. How one can say some things about this in our past? Maybe I saw this. Lalita Shakti. She was very absorbed with this Manjari Bhava Sadhana. Very much, very deep. And in that way, by his sadhana, he caught these forms and moods of women, Manjari, as a Manjari. He always wore the dress like women. Still now, they are following this, and with this mood, his, uh, he was worshipping Radharamana. Both of them. Ramdas Bhaji Maharaj had, had not this mood, but Lalita Sakhi. By his bhajan, he was so inside of this Manjari Bhava bhajan, he started to wearing the dress of women. And time to time, it was very surprising, all was changed. He was a man and it was transformed as a woman. Yes, you know this? Even it was, he got this self-manifested breast. It was not before. 
Ja, so wie im Land. Ja, 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 And at the same time, he was not attached with other women. Somebody will say that maybe his, he was crazy mind only to get some attachment with the women. He is imitating this all. No. He was doing his bhajan alone, but as a woman, as a man. Still now, they are following this when they will do puja of uh, Radha Raman, the pujaris, they have to wear this sari. If you we'll go to Radha Raman temple, then you can see well, Arati, Boga, they are offering with the sari. They will wear sari and like all the dresses as a woman. This was the nice and very, you can say, full of prema bhajan of Ramdas Bhavaj Maharaj and Lalita Shakti. They are together yeah, at the same time. And both were the disciples of Radha Raman Charandas Bhavaj Maharaj. Could you say that name again? Radha Raman, Radha Raman Charandas Bhavaj Maharaj. What's, In, the, what's the name of that Radha Raman Charandas Charandas. Radha Raman Mandir. Now, now you can see this yes. same Radha Raman in Samaj Bhavaj Maharaj. Yes. Samaj. Bari. Bari. Yes. Oh, that's the name. yes, and the tree is still there. The, the, the trunk of the tree. Trunk, the trunk of the tree. Yeah. 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 What does it mean? Charan. What? Oh, she's asking. What does Charan mean? Charan means feet. 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 Yes. I like Charan and. Um, uh, yeah, Charan are of Okay. Yeah. Where's Charan means feet. So that's like at the feet of. Radha Raman. He is the servant of the feet of Radha Raman. Yes. Did you say it was a hundred years ago, something, or longer? In Navadvip? In Navadvip? Oh, it's hundred years. About a hundred years. Yes. And Samaj Bari, Samaj means society. Yes, society. And Bari? Bari means house. Samaj Bari. Samaj means mainly. In Gorya tradition, Samaj means known as Samadhi. Mm. And there is the Samadhi of Radharam Charandas Bhavaji Maharaj and Lalita Shakti. Mm. Yes. You have been there? Yes. It's yeah. a very nice temple now. They made a very big temple is there. What's your the name of your disciple from Bangladesh that was there? The young fellow who organized program in his city, I forget in, in Bangladesh. He was the last. Jishnu. Jishnu. So Jishnu took, took us the yes, so yes. much bar. <coughs> in, in relation to this story that you are telling about this Vaishnava, actually exotic. Uh, in relation to yesterday's talk, we had. It seems like many times in the Shastra there is a warning that we should not judge anyone because actually the external and internal is two different. And uh, in relation to yesterday's talk, the Sahaja group, they sometimes have this type of uh, features, so it's very difficult to see if this is Sahaja or this is the real. So, unless one goes to Guru, no, 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 no. I, I am telling you this, this uh, somebody said something bad about this letter. He knows very well. He knows very well who is Lalita Shakti and who is Ramdas Bhavaji Maharaj. He knows very well. He is a Bengali person. He was a Bengali person. <coughs> And so that word he used for this Siddha Mahatmas, you cannot imagine. 
ale nebudú byť hrozne ako veľmi vkladne. Now, one shit of Mahatma, from Gauriya Vaishnav Jivani. He was also like... Gauriya Vaishnav Jivani? Yes. Probably not translated. No. You will not get in a translation in English or in any other language. Then you will know the truth. That is why. Is that the name of the book? Yeah, Gaudiya Vaishnava, Jivani, the lives of Gaudiya Vaishnavas. Yes, there has two parts. Two parts of this. One is all the associates of Sriman Mahaprabhu and just near stages of the associates. And next part, now it is, you know, it's a hundred years, hundred fifty years. The second part. The second part. This is also the Mahatma. Like Ram Krishna Das Pandit Baba, Shita Krishna Das Baba, Kravat Pran Gopal Goswami, this Madhuvanam Das Baba, this is all, so many. But there are some of them in this Obi Kapoor book, no? That is another thing, Saint of Bengal, Obi Kapoor. Also, you find the very some some stories. Yes, yes, some stories of the Siddha Mahatmas of Bengal, and they also in the Bill Kapoor book also you find a Prabhat Pran Gopal Goswami's biography. You get that from Bill Kapoor in English. Yes. Yeah. Saint of Bengal. Saints of Bengal. Obil Kapu. Also in the internet also you can get this uh, articles. Yeah. I have some. Maybe even Google. Like like it's it's very famous. Famous. Yeah. He was a contemporary of uh, Swamiji. What did you say? Obil Kapu. Yeah. yeah. And one Shiddha Mahatma from Brindavan. He was not actually from Brindavan. Just from Bengal, from somewhere. He just listened some katha about Krishna Lila. And he heard this Lila of pure friendly moods that Krishna is going with his friends, with the cows, they are playing, and how he is playing with them, his mood, the moods of the friends. He was so attached to this. He got this desire that, oh, Krishna is such friendly. Then I have to play with Krishna. But where is he? Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? Where I will get him? He was a little boy. No one can give any importance to his word. He asked so many people, you know, where is Krishna? No one paid him any attention. Yes. No one gave him any attention. Yes. He asked so many people, so many devotees also. But where is Krishna, you know? Why? Why you want Krishna? Do I want to play with him? No one can play with him. No one plays with Krishna. Go away. No one can do this. Why not? Because I heard that I heard that his friends. Yes, sometimes they are going with him. They are playing with him. They are fighting with him. I can do this. I know all this playing. But he used to play with his friends. I also know this all playing. Maybe you will get more pleasure to play with me. <laughs> then his friends. <laughs> but people also are not giving any attention to any <laughs> Just hey, go well. <laughs> then one day they decided no. 
se to zhodnotí. Já no, no, ano, to je. No, ten mi nikdo jako ne, to neřekne, že. And he got really strong pain in his heart. Maybe in his, in, in his life, I cannot play with Krishna. But that time he found one group. They are going to Brindavan. They are on the way. They are going to Brindavan. We are going to Brindavan. Brindavan. Why you are going to Brindavan? You don't know? You yes. want to see Krishna there? Krishna is living there? Yes. <laughs> Krishna is living there in Vrindavan. Vrindavan is Krishna's place. Then he just joined them. He just joined them to leave his house in this little age. Maybe seven, eight years like this. No one recognized that one extra boy in our group. After they went far away from this village, then they found you came. You leave your house? Yes. Why? Because I want to see Krishna. No, that is not good. Okay, you can join us, and when will you come back? We'll send you to your house. Just not saying any word. He just joined, and one day they reached Vrindavan. They arrived in Vrindavan, and he just left this group. And he asked all these people in the Vrindavan to know where is Krishna house. I want to meet him. Why you want to meet him? Because he is a nice boy like me. I want to play with him. Really you want to play with him? Yes, I want to play with him. Then you can see in the streets, he is always roaming in the streets. They were just joking with this boy, you know. But he got this own sentence in his heart. He was really searching in the street. One day, a real devotee he made, and he asked this same question to him. No, I want to meet Krishna. You want to meet Krishna? Yes. Why? Because I have strong attachment with him. I have strong love for him. Really? You love Krishna? Okay. But you know, if you want to take darshan of Krishna, if you want to play with Krishna, then you have to go to someone. By him, you can attend Krishna. Then he said, yes, the Guru. You have to accept one Guru. Okay, from where I find this Guru? No problem, you can go. The same family, Singarbha. Mm -hmm. This man, this devotee, he was also disciple from his family. Okay. From him, you can get this guidance. Okay. He went to this person, he went to this Kaswami, and he asked for his initiation. I went to into Krishna. From where you came? I came from far away from here, a little village of Bengal. Really? And why you are staying here, living here in Vrindavan? I have no place, you know. Sometimes I'm sleeping under the tree, sometimes somewhere in the temple. 
and this couple, this Goswami and his wife, they got really very deep love for this boy. He was very nice boy. Okay, you can stay here. You can stay here. And he got initiated by, by him. And he was staying there. And every day, he used to ask to his guru, where is Krishna? Because this man, he said, if I accept guru, then I can take darshan Krishna. Then his guru said, yes, you can take darshan of Krishna, but not here, in this house, you know. She will come in the field. If I go to the field, I can take darshan. Yes. Because Krishna likes all the cowherd boys. All the cowherd boys. Krishna likes all the cowherd boys? Yes. If you will see that uh, one cowherd boy is waiting, but I am not cowherd boy. <laughs> because I am not taking care of the cows. I am not taking them to the field. Yes, you can take them. Then from next day, he started to go every day to the field with the cows of his guru. He had also some cows, 10 or 15 cows he had. And he started to go with the cows to the field. And after he'll go to the field, he'll free the cows. They will eat the grasses. And every day he used to cry for Krishna. Oh, where you are? Please come to me. I'm waiting for you here. Every day, every day he was doing this. And one day, she was seated under one tree and was crying for Krishna. Suddenly, he saw a big storm of dust. He cannot see behind, but like a storm, the dust covered the skies and all the stars. He was surprised what is happening there. Then he found so many cows is coming. Towards him. So many thousands of cows. And then he found the boys, so many little boys, inside the cows and behind the cows. And behind the cows there was a very nice two boys. One is very black and one is very brown. Then he was thinking, is he Krishna? Then all of these, they came just near to him. Then these two boys, with all these other boys, he came to this boy. And he asked, you are searching me? This black boy, he asked to him, you are searching me? Are you looking for me? Yes. If you are looking for me, who are you? I am Krishna. He is my elder brother, Baladam, Baladam. And they are all my friends, Sridam, Sudam, Dham, Vasudam. Really you are Krishna? Yes. I am Krishna. Then, Krishna accepted him as his friend. You know? And they started to play. The same play. And every day they were doing this. And every day Krishna will take some food from him. Because when he will come to the field, all the day he will stay here with the cows. That's why his Guruma, she used to give him food, some food for lunch time. And Krishna, different, some different. And Krishna, every day, he used to take some food from him. Very beautiful food you have. 
Who made this? My Guru. 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 Okay. You know, I like this. From from uh, next day, from tomorrow, you must get more. I want to take this also. I'll not carry my uh, my tiffin from my house. I'll share your food. Okay. <laughs> and after he came back to his house, that means his Gurudev house, he said this to Guruma. Guruma, you know, Krishna said this, that he will not bring his tiffin from his house, she will take my food. So, she must give more. And sometimes uh, the friends of Krishna also they ask for this food. This Guru Ma, he thought, he thought that maybe some boys they are joking with him. But he did, he did not say anything. That, oh, what you are saying, Krishna came to you. No, no words. But she just allowed this. From next day, she started to give more food to this boy. Because now she found that this boy is really, is very happy. Maybe he got this friends. All these friends he's had. That's why she started to give more food to this boy. It was going on. And one day, Krishna said this to this boy, a friend, tomorrow we'll do picnic here. One boja. You know, tomorrow my elder brother will not come. So I invited my Priya. Radharani, you know Radharani? She's my beloved. You know, I invited her. She will come with all of her circuits. That's why you have to bring more things. So many. <laughs> no, not, not the cooked food. Not the cooked food. All, the, all these stuffs you have to bring. And my Priya, Radharani will cook. With all her circuits. Okay, Krishna, then I have to go back to my house early. Just go, just now. <laughs> and he could leave his house. And he said this to his Guru Ma. But this was really very much problem for her. Because he has so many foods, so many things that he has to take with the cart. He has to take this all stuff with a cart. <laughs> Such kinds of things. Such kinds of stuff he wants from his Kurma. So much problem. Yes. And then Kurma, she has to say all these things to his Gurudev. And she explains this. You know, maybe he was... She had to go to Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> maybe... This boy, he got trapped with some bad boys. Because every day, so much food. Yes, every day they are squeezing. More, more. More food, more food. They are squeezing this boy. Yes. And now, today, he asked that they will do some picnic tomorrow. And he has to bring all this stuff. But, yes. And Guru Dev asked this to the boy, what is happening? Then he explained all this story. Krishna is coming every day. He is playing with me, all his friends. And his elder brother also. Ram also. Guru Dev was surprised. And a little bit angry also. What you are saying? Krishna is coming to play with you. <laughs> yes, Guru Dev, it's true. <laughs> can you show me? If you can show me that Krishna is coming, then I'll give you 
If you promise me that you will show Krishna with all his friends and Radharani, then I'll be good. Yes, Gurudev, you can see. You can see, every day we are uh, playing there. And tomorrow Radharani, she will come with all her sakis. Okay. If you cannot show me, then you will give you will get punishment. Oh, okay, no problem. Then his Guru Dev, he gave all the stuff to him. And the early morning, he went to this forest. And he said to Guru Dev that, okay, you must come later. We are all there. He said the place. And you know, at the noon time, near about 11, 11.30, Guru Dev, he came this he went to this place and he saw that all the cows, his cows, not others, his cows was eating grasses there on the field and this boy, this boy was running here, there and he was cheering. This Gurudev was surprised. Why he is running? And he is laughing sometimes. He is calling Krishna, he is calling some prince. What is happening here? <laughs> Maybe he is making me fool. He is cheating me. <laughs> then he asked, Hey, what you are doing? Oh, Gurudev, we are playing. We? Only I can see you. There is no one of us. What is we? Yes, you cannot see. This? But this was surprising things. He can smell the very nice cooking. He cannot see anyone. Very good smell for, from cooking. He can smell this. And he was searching from where it is coming. But there is nothing that she can find the source of this smell. And he asked to this boy, what is happening here? 